so it looks kind of like that. So there's a half inch space between them, so it's sitting right on top. So it'll be like a cascade. And then the bottom piece I'm putting down here, but I want to make sure that I have enough space. And this uh, hole that I created, I did with the classic label punch. And I've taken it from the top where I already ran my score line, put my tape on, and I'm just centering it. Punching it out so there's my piece that matches that one. So this piece is a one and a half by five and a half scored at a half. So it ends up being five after it's scored. And the cascade is five by four scored at a half. So I'm going to assemble this now. Putting it up towards the top. And I'm going to put this one right underneath it so they touch. I want to make sure I have enough room down here, and I believe I do, so there's plenty of room. Because that little piece is going to hold it in. So we'll take this one, and I'm putting it right underneath it directly underneath it. So now they'll fold onto each other. See how they just fold? Just like these do. And that's the cascade. Or at least that's my cascade. So now I'm going to take and put a scrap piece of paper. This one's three by three and a half. I'm just going to put it here in the center. And then, at the bottom, perfect, all right. So I'm gonna take this one. At the bottom, I'm kind of centering it. It's right underneath the score, so it's where it's flapping. It's not even on it or anything. And I'm gonna take this piece, the very last piece, and I'm gonna center it and put it at the bottom. And of course, there's that tear tape. You might want to flip down, make sure you line it up. And there we go. So this will just fold right in. And then your butterfly, your butterflies. Yeah, I'm ready for spring. These cute little bumblebees that I use the dies from the honeybee bundle. It's just these little bees on that paper. I'm gonna use a pop dot dimensional and put on it gives it a little fun and then right here is where you can put your pictures you can put a picture here put a picture here so wherever you want to put pictures you can even put a picture here and then uh, this I have is five by five. Let's put it here. Okay, so there's that. So now I've showed you how to do the cascade for other pictures. And then now for the insert, I'm literally taking the scrap paper that I cut from my 12 by 12s and I'm just using the scrap paper. And I'll use my punch. And this is the, everybody has them differently. This is the um, round tab punch. You might have it, where's my other punch? You might have it like this with Stampin' Up, but I have the older one, so it may be in this form, but this is the one I have. I actually found it at the thrift store. Imagine that. So now these tabs I actually took 
took my six by sixes and put them on top of each other. So when I tape my tab, which I'm only going to tape on one side, you can do anything to make a tab. I mean, you, you could take a circle and score it in half and make a tab. It's just easier to pull your pages, your extra pages out. So I'm just taped it on both sides. Now I'm going to fold it down. And there it is. Well, I want the other one to be down just a little bit so they're all kind of different, but not totally different. So we'll tape this one. All right. So we see where that one is. I'm going to set this one on top where I want it to be. I'm trying to make sure the folds match up so they're all the same size. I'm just setting it exactly on top of the one I've already done. And then I'll just fold it in half and there's my other tab. So there's my tabs for the book that has the pull out pages. So that should just slip right in. It's right and perfect. See, and if I would have taped it down here, it wouldn't have went in good because it had been sticking and then we know how tape is. If you don't get it down all the way, it'll stick no matter what. But this pulls in and out just perfect, so I'm kind of happy about that. So I'll probably do them for now on like that and I won't even... Well, there we go. So there's that part. Now the cover. Isn't that cute? Love it. And then, of course, when you do the rest of your paper, you just keep going. Okay, so now the cover. I'm using the stamp set. Oh, what is the size of this? This is what, three by four and a half. So three by four and a half. Get some of the stuff out of the way. All right, the cover. Just cute. It's a nice little bee. So I'm going to actually stamp it on the very top and stamp it on the very bottom. And I'm just using the memento. So literally stamping it on the bottom, the bottom. This looks like it's a little like distinctive, like it's a distinctive stamp, which you can see everything. So there's that. Then I took, where is it? The honeycomb from the inside on the dies, which is part of the set. I took the honeycomb and I ran it through with black, which is scrap paper from the pages that I'm using already. So I have all these little pieces that fell out. So I wanna keep some of them in. So maybe we'll do I guess that's all I'm keeping them. Well, this I just use this tape with. I just use our basic tape. I'm not gluing it down or this tape works really well. I'm just kind of set it like that. And that works out nice. Then I want to put some of these pieces that came from the 
honeybee with the right here in front of me. There it is. Looking for my piercing tool. I get these uh, pop down or the these small dots. They come in paper pumpkin. So and I always use them. So we're gonna take this one and put it down here. Actually, they're glue dots. They are not pop dots. But you can put pop dots on them and pop them up. That'll work too. And put one over here. And put them wherever you want to. Matter of fact, I think I'm gonna put one back inside. Yeah. And I'm using my piercing tool to pick it up too. It kind of works out okay. Let's do that. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe I'll put it down here. Yeah, that kind of works. And then I took the Daffodil Delight because the ribbon I'm using is Daffodil Delight. And I'm just going to color in the bottom of the bee. So there's that. Let me get rid of these pieces. They're going to drive me nuts being in my way. Another thing that's refreshing about these glue dot, this tape runner, is you can just get the glue right off. Just like that, it doesn't stick. Not like the permanent stuff, it just stays there and won't go anywhere. All right, so the ribbon I'm using is Daffodil Delight, and I actually got it from last year's celebration, 2019. I don't have any of the new in the catalog, and here it shows the new ribbon and I just don't have that so I'm going to comp improvise and use what I do have. So I want it to like zigzag underneath it so I'm just going to stretch it out like a zigzag. That looks like enough. Okay, and then this, where it says um, celebrate every moment, I actually took my, I stamped it on and then I used the banner punch to get my edges. So, to make it look like a banner. I took my scissors and I just scraped underneath it one way, flipped it over and scraped the scissor the other way. So it gave it a little bit of uh, dimension. So that's what I did to make that. I'm actually going to put dimensionals underneath it. Hopefully it'll keep it a little bit. Then I'm putting pop dots under this, dimensionals. Probably going to put eight of them, one in each corner, two in the center, and then two exactly in the center. So like that. I'm sorry, this one, I tore the envelopes apart to make that because I had that idea in my head and didn't know how to do it without having any of my supplies with me because I wanted to try so hard to make this and uh, me tearing the envelopes apart worked out pretty good so I was kind of surprised. Okay so I'm making this little zigzag here and I'm actually going to um, snip this corner here so it's got an edge. Okay, now the thing about this ribbon is you can run a tape runner on it to secure it. It's 
So if you want to move it around, you can. And that I've done. Of course, I got too much, so I'm snipping it off. Let's see, does that look like a good spot? I feel like this top part needs to come down some. So, move over. just a little bit more and this tape it just you just rub it and it's off so that's what I like best about it so there's my little zigzag and see how it's too long we'll just snip it right here there we go now I'm going to remove all my dimensional stickers Now this paper is free when you purchase $50 or more in the celebration book. So that's the only way you're going to get it. And if you get a bundle, this is a B bundle, how much is it? I thought I wrote it down somewhere. The bundle is $41.25, so you know, you just get the bundle and maybe the ribbon and you'll get the paper for free. And here you can make this too. This DSP paper is so pretty. All right, so now I got my dimensionals already on the back of this and we'll put it right there in the center. And there we go. Cool as can be. And I'm just so excited that most, some of most some of Stampin' Up stuff, more and more you find it, that their dies actually match the paper too. Which is super exciting because I didn't want to fussy cut that. So here is our book. It's flipped on that, but still works. Oh, I hope I've inspired you to make one of these little flip booklets. This, this is, they're just so cute. They're the cutest thing and you can put anything in them. And this little binding is so cute and I mean look how nice that looks. It's like a clean finished. Just looks really good. Hope I've inspired you. Um, have any questions, give me a holler. Um, I'll respond to you as soon as I can. You have yourself a wonderful day. And subscribe is free. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and don't forget, it's, it's, the paper is free in celebration when you purchase $50 or more from our annual catalog, the website, or even the new um, the mini catalog. So, and the bumblebees are on page 30 of the mini catalog as a bundle. If that is something that inspires you. I know it does me, because I'm ready for spring. It's winter time in Minnesota. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. Uh, I'll put links down below to order everything that I've used today. So, thank you so much. Happy crafting. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Thank you, thank you for watching. And subscribe, it's free.